Hi, I'm Jamie Romeo. I'm a, your Monroe County clerk and I'm also a West Rondequay graduate from the year 2003. My son is a current third grader at Colebrook Elementary School and he'll be uh, the class of 20, 20, 2030, actually. So I had a few very uh, eclectic years at Rondequay High School. I was involved with a lot of really different type of activities. I played softball through um, up through junior varsity and varsity. I was also in the um, wind symphony and wind ensemble. Um, but I also spent a lot of time over down at the House of Guitars, going down to Water Street. So it was, I w was very fortunate that Rondequay was really just such a melting pot of a town and a lot of my own interests. I was able to get involved in a lot of different areas that you wouldn't necessarily think a student has a one track into. Um, but getting to meet people from all walks of life, I actually got my first job through the career office um, over in around Equate High School working actually at Rubino's up on East Ridge Road. Uh, so it's been a great opportunity to meet people, to meet people from all over town and all over the community. Um, and it was really great uh, testing ground for a lot of my other adventures in public life. So at Arundaquay High School I actually had a lot of help in that junior and senior year when you were looking at going to college and looking at resources and what the different options were. And I was very fortunate to actually get enrolled at St. John Fisher College as a service scholar. I had done a lot of community service um, as a student at Arundaquay High School but also in 4-H in our 4-H club in the community and was able to then get into St. John Fisher through that scholarship program which was a blending of not just academics but also continuing that public service in the community. Um, so that, again, public service and community service have really been entwined and IHS really provided a lot of ways for me to do that and also doing that in later on in my career as well. Um, I actually was very fortunate to, after, um, after undergrad, I went to graduate school at SUNY Brockport while I was working for Monroe County, um, which is a great program. I have a master's in public administration now, but a lot of the, the path that I've been able to get down towards public service all started from that basis at, at West Aronacoy. So one of the biggest opportunities I've had lately was when the governor appointed me to be the Monroe County Clerk, which came about four weeks before the COVID-19 pandemic came in and the world stopped for a moment and we had to retool everything that we do here. But I really feel prepared for this job because there were a lot of opportunities that came to me that you didn't expect, but you have to seize the moment. And the biggest one for me came when I was a Fisher student at college and I was offered an unpaid internship here at the county legislature. And had I not taken that opportunity as a student, I would have never then landed a part-time job in the county legislature, meet so many amazing community leaders and public officials, learned about government and politics and elections, and be where I am today. And it all became taking that leap of faith as a student to take on that internship, which is why we, taking on all of those unexpected opportunities that you might have um, can really pay off in the end because you're never not quite gonna know what you're gonna step into. It could be difficult, but it'll allow you to create so many more opportunities and connections and relationships that give you so many more options in life and options to serve and serve in the community. Um, so I definitely always tell the students that I work with that when they have those opportunities, even if it's unpaid, even if you're gonna have to pay for parking, it really is gonna pay off for in dividends.